But it's time to join uh, Ucho Koro in Port Harcourt to bring us up to speed with what Nigerians are saying on the streets. And uh, by newspaper stand there, let's see what they're saying. Uche, good morning. It's good to have you join us from Port Harcourt. What are Nigerians saying uh, regarding the headlines they are seeing today? Uh, good morning to you, Mike. Uh, before I get to, before we get to what Nigerians are saying, allow me to just take you through um, the headlines this morning. I must say, um, very multifaceted headlines this morning as against yesterday when eventually the papers were talking about uh, the CGN. So I'll start with the Daily Sun newspaper. You see the headline there? Buhari panics over looming National Assembly defection from the APC. That's the Daily Sun newspaper. Next up is the Nation newspaper. You see the headline reading, I probably leader Kano to remain in custody. The Vanguard newspaper. And the front page headline, many dead. It uh, starts with blood, bloodbath in the southeast. Many dead, more missing in Eboyi, bound Eboyi, Benway boundary clash. Many dead, more missing in Eboyi, Benway boundary clash. And um, next up is the Punch newspaper, XCJN, to get 2.5 billion Naira benefits. Senate begins corruption probe. 2.5 billion naira. Uh, the Guardian newspaper says has something to say about the economy. Uh, Nigeria risking financial blockade and uh, frosty relations with funders. To get more uh, details of that, grab a copy of the Guardian newspaper. And then I'll wrap this up with uh, the This Day newspaper. Politics like Tinubu, APC's vice presidential placeholder, Masari declares certificates missing. That's the this day newspaper. So I'll start with uh, this sir on my right. Uh, good morning to you, sir. What's your name? My name is Prince. All right, sir. Can you can you just uh, go ahead and tell me what you think about any of the headlines this, this morning? Choose choose at random. Well, in the newspaper, uh, the Nation. I want to make a comment on the uh, what was there. The IPOP leader to remind in court the November fourteen there about. So my comment uh, there is that uh, uh, this case had been their custody for long, for the custody of Nigeria or the custody of the judiciary for long. If they find a young man not guilty, they are supposed to let him go. Because over the over the months, getting to a years now, the case has been adjourning, adjourning, adjourning. I don't know what the judiciary. Is doing in this country. If I will refer us to the similar incident that happened at uh, Kotonu between uh, Sunday Iboho, the Kotonu court they just discharged the case. They they fastly discharged the case. So in Nigeria also they are supposed to learn from other country too. If the the young man is not guilty, they let him go. So that there will be peace uh, in some region that especially the southeast. So they ought to let the young man go, or they jail him, or whatever. So thank you. Right, we'll, we'll talk some more if, if you have the time. All right, let me let me go. Let me move to you, sir. Um, just remind me. Remind me. You told me your name before. Please just remind me. Uh, good morning. I'm Matthew Iboro Film. Okay, Matthew. What what would you like to talk about this morning? Let me go to the Fangard newspaper headline. Every day is just like in Nigeria. Every welcome development in Nigeria. Every blessed day is killing. Well, I don't know what our leaders are doing over these killings, bloodbath in all this part of Nigeria almost. Sometimes Fulani, sometimes ungon, unknowing government will be snatching our brethren. I don't know if these people that is going down by death every day are not Nigerians. And I don't know what the action or what action the governments are doing about this or are taking about this. So it's just like welcome development in this country is killing. Yes, that's what I'm seeing. Every day, no good development that will come up on paper, killing, hazmen, slash. The one that they killed in a church that recently do mass burial is not even going far. But this one now is happening, according to Fangai newspaper headline. I don't know what the government is doing okay. about we'll this. Come back to you, sir. We'll come back to you. All right, sir. Um, you like to say something this morning? All right, go ahead. Just tell us your name first. Good morning, sir. My name is Prince Ike Tukobona. I want to comment on the newspaper headline this morning on the Sun uh, newspaper. It's Daily Sun? Daily Sun newspaper. It says that Buare panic over mass defection 
uh, looming on APC. It's not um, something that um, should amaze us. A country that have failed to give youth the opportunity to participate in the, uh, in the political this, um, affairs, the country will not make progress. Like they gave um, the this, um, presidential slot to someone that is old. I don't know. They should expect more. People will defect from APC to other political parties because APC have failed. There is hardship in the land. And those of us, that um, uh, those of our leaders that have failed us 2023 election, I believe that the youth will act. And all of us will vote out those that have failed us. And secondly, on this um, IPOP leader, it remains in custody till uh, November 4th. Um, I appeal to the judiciary to uh, uh, tamper justice with Messi. I don't know what the young man, if, even though he have um, committed any crime against the state, they should forgive him. President Muhammad Bouhara, I call on you this morning to pardon and um, grant him presidential um, pardon. You can do it. You have been a father. This, um, this man, now you see that every Monday you go to the east, there is what we call sit at home there. Just because of one man. He went to court yesterday. They, every, they shot down everywhere. Uh, but, 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 but you're aware he has distanced himself from all the violence and all that is going on in, in the South East. You're aware, right? And that is why I am calling on the government to please. He said it yesterday that he calls for calm, that he's a peaceful man. And some of these things, when someone comes out like this, to, when someone comes out like this to do something, some criminals will come out to commit crimes with his name. This, uh, if you have seen uh, uh, his um, the things he have done uh, over the years, you will see that he is fighting, and um, th there is no place, uh, even in the international laws, that is written that he has not committed any crime. Okay, okay, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you so we can talk about something else, right? All right. So just hold that thought. So back to you, sir. Um, any other headline here that that tra uh, attracted your attention so far? Uh, I would like to just put my more on this day. When we talk of like. Uh, Sinembo here now, vice presidential place, holders, Masari, declare certificate missing. I don't know, I don't really know how a certificate missing here is forced on. Or Sinembo should pick someone to be his vice president. But I, I, I suggest people that come for Sinembo to go for primaries. I'm not seeing where and why Sinembo will be finding who will be his vice president well you know this is politics this is politics these things are not as uh, clear cut as we think right uh, i know i know but at least somebody give you the trust and they come for you to go at least you should step down yeah. step down at least you find someone among the people that supported you to pick up all right all right thank thank you very much matthew right i uh, try not to forget your name next time all right so you've just heard from matthew and there are a, a, a couple of other gentlemen here who have left me i'm um, airing their views on the, the headlines i'm dominating the, the the national dailies here from the city of port Harcourt. mike it's back to you we're done here all right thank you very much Uche Okoro, for uh you know bringing us live from uh, port Harcourt. Now, we, we heard Nigerians speak there. One of the headlines there, uh, I think the, the Sun uh, talked about the panic. The president uh, over, panic. Yeah, <laughs> over defection. <laughs> you were part of what we discussed I say, earlier. I didn't say the panic. <laughs> I, think it, I think the headline itself is the panic. <laughs> All right. It, it, it's quite interesting, though. Um, you know, headlines sometimes you know, sway people in a certain direction. Oh, okay. But other times, it's just for people to get a little more curious mm -hmm. so, so they can read the stories and understand. It's interesting that, uh, you know, there was a headline there in most of the papers that they didn't pay attention to. Mm -hmm. the fact that uh, the Zamfara governor still insists mm -hmm. that residents should bear arms mm -hmm. for the purpose of self-defense. Exactly. And, uh, and, 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 and we get the sense that uh, it is becoming a normalized thing. The man is insisting, is insisting, and the soldiers are saying, no, 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 you can't do that. He's saying, you have failed. I, I'm, I'm glad we'll be talking about this next yeah. because uh, I think that we understand there's a committee set up already, and uh, he's trying also to interface with traditional rulers in that regard to uh, get them to... Uh, monitor the system or be be involved in the system too, so that those who are coming out to say I'm interested in getting a license 
will be true or bona fide uh, members of that community. So they are known by the traditional yeah. ruler and all of that. Um, yes, I'm just going to add that, I mean, I said yesterday, the governor has also uh, gone further to insist on the possible consequences. If you're caught as a bandit or as a kidnapper or as a cultist, even though I find that's really very strange, uh, the issue of, you know, cultism and maybe armed robbery and all of that, cattle uh, rustling and all, that there's uh, a death penalty for, oh, yeah, <laughs> for it. So. That, that has been on ground for some time. So if it has not deterred or prevented uh, what, what we're complaining about, mm. then that may not come as, uh, as news to anyone, uh, you know. But we wait to see how this new uh, uh, development will change things. Mm.